for electrical, to distinguish from E for engine. Camera switch, bomb fusing unit, landing lights, and all electrical wiring and apparatus. Radio is added to the tray mentioned. This is a separate branch. It includes the transmitting set, receiving set, beacon set, fixed aerial, trailing aerial, the morse key and all radio accessories. We are now in a hangar on a Royal Naval Air Station. We'll take a look round and see some of the maintenance and repair ratings at work on various types of aircraft so that you'll have some idea of their job. First we'll take A. You remember that's airframe. Tire covers are often damaged when aircraft are being taxied and the airframe rating must look out for cuts and any small stones which may be embedded in the cover. As you can imagine, if a tire bursts when an aircraft is landing, a nasty accident may be caused. With folding wings, an aircraft can fit onto any size aircraft carrier lift. Wing folding mechanism is important. This is an American aircraft, a Wildcat. Another of A's jobs is to keep all the flying controls clean and in perfect order. This is another American aircraft, a Corsair. No, he's not behind bars, he's checking the tension on the bracing wires. This is the sort of job that's done on a daily inspection, usually known as a DI. Wing folding mechanism needs to be kept well greased, there's a good deal of strain here, and grease keeps the mechanism working smoothly. Here, an airframe rating is lubricating the ailerons. Arrestor hooks must be checked for signs of damage. A pretty land isn't much good on a carrier if the hook has failed to come down. Well, that shows you just a few of the airframe ratings jobs. Now we'll take a look at the men who attend to the engines and see what keeps them busy. For instance, the renewing of starter cartridges is done by them. They remove air screw spinners so that the mechanism can be inspected refueling of the aircraft. The end of a perfect overhaul. As this aircraft had been flying for a total of over 300 hours, the propeller needs. There are magnetos to be adjusted. The gap between the contact breaker points must be accurate to within a thousandth of an inch. It's the engine ratings who remove the ignition harness, but the actual testing is carried out by the electro ratings, as we shall see later. When flying, engines must be kept cool. They've got a hot job to do. Leading the engine ratings, we next take a look at the ordnance men doing a few of their jobs. The removal of guns is one of their responsibilities. to know just how to remove and fit the many different types. This is a .5 Browning gun in a revolving turret on an Avenger. The gun is being cleaned while undergoing a DI. Torpedo release mechanism must be kept in good working order. Guns are stripped down in the armory. He's having a thorough overhaul. The breech feed mechanism is removed for reloading. This 
this man's protecting the cannon against damage whether they're not confused with the engine ratings. Electrical jobs crop up all over the aircraft. Here's that ignition harness again, all ready to be tested. Aircraft generators are tested in the workshops. On this machine, generators can be tested under conditions similar to those they'll experience in the air. The bomb rack. The electrician does his part to make sure that this works all right. Operated from the cockpit is the upward identification light. This is used for signaling. Landing lamps are also operated from the cockpit. Landing lamp job. Here, the alignment of the reflector is being adjusted. Well, that's just a few of the electrical ratings responsibilities. And now, last but by no means least, the radio mechanics. Let's see how they fit into the scheme. Some aerial masts are not very big, but they're nonetheless important for that. Wrens are often to be found doing radio jobs. This girl is tuning and aligning the receiver on a shortwave frequency. Aerials encounter all sorts of climatic conditions and new ones must be fitted from time to time. The radio mechanic tests the connections on transmitter sets. But you may recognize this aircraft. It's that ancient warrior, the Swordfish, born 1935 and still going strong. Soldering radio connections is delicate work. The radio ratings lot is mostly small jobs, but they certainly make a big difference. Well, now you've some idea of how the various trades dovetail together. You can see that each specialist is of little use Warning of enemy aircraft in the vicinity has been received, and here three aircraft are arranged in readiness. The maintenance men remain on deck, hoping to see their aircraft go into action. The enemy aircraft are now reported to be heading in this direction. Commander flying gives the scrap. Jerry, and he's heading for trouble. 